everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, I think we're into that time of the year where we start having these winters, like the dogwood winter, your blackberry <laughs> winter, because it's gotten cold. It has gotten very cold, but hopefully spring is just around the corner. Right, and with spring, something I actually wanted to ask you was, mm -hmm. do you normally see a surge of people calling your office and asking you, to represent them to either buy or sell a home? Absolutely. Spring is a really popular time of the year to either list or sell property, or list or buy property. Right. Because it's it's when the weather starts getting good. It's when everybody can start getting back outside. We always talk about how small the house feels during the winter. So this yes. is when people really start looking. And a lot of people don't think about needing a realtor to purchase a home, but you guys can help with that also. You don't have to just have one for sale to have a realtor. Absolutely, and we highly recommend that you do have a realtor to buy a home, and I'm actually going to talk about that in the Real Estate Minute today. Okay, then we'll skip talking about it now and go straight get in, into our listings. Sounds good. All right, the first one we're going to talk about is in Paintsville. Now, this one's mm -hmm. at Cross Creek. It is. It's in Cross Creek, which is still in Johnson County, mm -hmm. outside of Paintsville, on your way to Paintsville Lake, if that helps anybody right there off Route 40. Right. Well, that, you know, this one screams location, especially mm -hmm. for anyone who loves outdoor things, because not only is the house in a great location there at Cross Creek with some privacy, but like you said, on the way to the lake. So if you like boating, fishing, any kind of recreation activities, this would be perfect for you. Absolutely. It's a great location, very close to Paintsville, and like you mentioned, it sits on over an acre lot in Cross Creek, which is a little bit uncommon, mm -hmm. and this is a lot that is situated to allow for some privacy. Your entire backyard is private. So this is one that you really can get the privacy aspect and be in a subdivision. We always like to mention this one is on the creek, so you have creek access as well. Right, so you're getting that country feel too. Mm -hmm. Now the house itself is, is absolutely beautiful. I love the view of that front porch. Absolutely. It's the entire front of the house, which is great, especially uh -huh. for that morning coffee. And then I didn't include a back picture, but you've got a really nice private back patio where, again, you've got a swing and that kind of stuff where you can really enjoy the nature part of your property as well. But the house overall is about 1,800 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, mm -hmm. fairly new. It was built in 2003 two-car garage that you access off the back of the house. It has a lot of space. Right, and then plus two, you know, knowing that it sits on an acre. Mm -hmm. So you've got your yard space. You know, a lot of people like to get out and, and landscape and do those kind of things. I mean, you've even got room for a small garden. And then another great thing, especially with us talking about the coldness that's going on right now, you do have a gas log fireplace uh -huh. in the living room, which is also great. Right, and you've got the first floor master bedroom mm -hmm. and all of the extras that people like. Um, when they first walk into that house. Exactly, exactly. So this is one, if you're in the market for anything in the Paintsville area, this one has just been reduced mm -hmm. to 210,000. So if this is your market and you like the Johnson County Paintsville area, uh, definitely give, this one's Kathy Brown's listing, mm -hmm. right? So let's give that Johnson or that Paintsville office number. Okay, you can call Kathy at 606-789-8119. All right, and then the, the MLS number on this one is 106000. So mm -hmm. always giving them that number will pull that listing up even quicker. Absolutely. All right, now let's stay in the Paintsville area. This one is in Johnson County, but this one is more toward East Point. Yes, this is in the East Point area, and this is off Little Lick Fork in East Point. If you're familiar with going through Hager Hill, you would turn on 1750 right mm -hmm. there at East Point, and then you're going to Little Lick Fork off of that. So that's about three miles off US 23. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just as far enough off of 23 to where you get that country feel, you get, you're out in the country, but yet you're still accessible to US 23, north or south. This has over 15 acres of property, so you still have that country feel once you're up there. The house sits by itself up on mm -hmm. a hill, has some great mountain views. So this is something that if you like having that privacy but still want to have access to 23, the whole property screams that. Right, and it's a three bedroom, two bath, uh, double wide. So a lot of people are thinking now, well, I was looking for some property. Well, now you've got, you know, this is 15 acres of property plus this double wide. So there's a ton of options available depending on what your situation is on this one. Exactly, and then you can, the other picture we've got included, they have just built a 30 by 48 detached metal garage. 
Right, so you can put your, your vehicles or your, your lawnmowers, your tractors, mm -hmm. your side-by-sides or anything like that. So if you're an outdoorsy type person, they've just they've just built a building for you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is priced well at one twenty two nine. So uh, this one is in the, the Paintsville office also, but this one is Cindy Legs listing. Let's Correct. get some information for her. Okay, for Cindy, if you want to send her an email, that email is cleg, L-E-G-G, at rbnw.com. Okay, 108209 is that MLS number. To give that to Cindy, she'll pull it up and get you scheduled for your showing. Okay. Now, we're going to move back toward Pike County. For the rest of these will be your listings. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, they've all ended up being two-bedroom homes. So that's something that maybe we can talk about, like you said, med students or, or mm -hmm. anything like that, these next three listings. The first one is in Pikeville, a very popular neighborhood, Keezer Heights. Yes, this one is 111 East Keezer Heights. So when you go up to the stop sign at Keezer Heights, after you've turned off 23, you're going to take a left and it's the second house on your left. And I love the way this looks from the front. It's different mm -hmm. than, than a lot of homes, so it's got that unique look to it. Um, and even on the inside, those high ceilings are attractive when people walk in and see those. Yeah, this is one that I consider a contemporary style house. So it has the contemporary lines, especially on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, but the way that they did it, it's also a very comfortable feeling house. It's a 1,300 square foot house, so it's not huge, but you still have the space and everything because you do have those high ceilings that give you that open feeling. And one thing I'm seeing from these photos is it looks like it's got a ton of, of windows and a mm -hmm. lot of light in there. So that in itself makes it feel larger. Absolutely, and you can see I took a picture of the master bedroom and you can see that they've actually got the windows on the side of the house that mm -hmm. are kind of with the roof line that just allow for so much natural light. So Absolutely. This is one of those you're going to have to see it to appreciate it. Yes, I highly recommend viewing this one. Right. Two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. Um, so, like you said, perfect for a small family, mm -hmm. a, a newlywed couple. They've not started expanding their family yet. Or, like you said, a professional who's in town or even med students. Absolutely. And this would honestly be a great fit. It's not very much maintenance, but mm -hmm. it would give you the space of, and feeling like that you have your own area. Right. 149.9 is the price on this one on Keezer Heights. Now this is Jennifer's listing, so mm -hmm. let's throw your email address out there. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now moving on to the next one, um, also uh, right at the Pikeville city limits. It is in them, but barely on the town mountainside. <laughs> exactly. This is a 229 May Branch Road. So if you're going up town mountain, you're mm -hmm. going to pass Powder House on your left, and then this is the next turn on your left is May Branch. And um, this house is another two bedroom, like we mentioned, but has been very recently updated. It's got a lot of hardwood in it, um, a lot of newer fixtures and that kind of stuff. The bathroom's been completely redone. So this is one that is move-in ready. It is almost right at the, the medical plaza. Yeah. Um, right there. So it's before you get up the hill, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. I mean, the, the location on this one is great. Yes, it is a great location. And then it is just under 1,200 square feet, two bedroom, one bath, sits on about a fourth of an acre or so. Mm -hmm. It does have a two car attached carport, which is great, especially when these, these winter times hit. Uh -huh. And uh, like I said, it has been renovated. New kitchen, new bathroom, newer metal roof. Um, that kind of stuff. So hopefully there's not a whole lot of updates that anybody would want or have to do. And this one has two large bedrooms. So like we talked about before, um, medical students, you could use that. You could even purchase this one at this price and lease it or rent it to, there's just a lot of options for this home. There really are, and that's why I included the bedroom picture that I did because you can actually see that there's a love seat mm -hmm. in the bedroom and there's plenty of space for it. So this one, you know, it screams professional, you know, small family, mm -hmm. just like the other one. And for the price on this one, it's under 100,000. You're getting inside the Pikeville city limits. So this one, I would hope, would not last long. Yes, I don't think it will, and if anybody has an interest, I recommend setting up a showing soon. All right, now this is your listing. Let's mm -hmm. give the Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, 108179, just give that number to Jennifer. She'll pull that one up and get your listing or your showing scheduled.
Now this last one is one of the, my favorite ones we've ever done. We've done this, but it's been a little while back. Mm -hmm. But this one just screams the word cottage to me. Yes, absolutely. We're doing it again because the price has been reduced on it. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure and get that out to everybody. But you are correct. Cute country cottage sums this house up perfectly. So if you're familiar with this area, um, it's very convenient mm -hmm. as far as you've got the Cedar Creek area and then you go up to Cedar Hills and it's not very far onto Island Creek from there. So this one sits on two and a half acres. So mm -hmm. another home that is going to give you lots of yard space. You talked mm -hmm. about some, some possible restrictions there. Yeah, there's some extra property off to the side of the house and you can't really put anything, a building or anything like that on it because there is a gas line that runs through part of it. But it's perfect, like you said, for the extra space. You have tons of parking, you have garden space, you can do above ground pool anything like that. And then that, of course, only counts on one side of the house. On the other side of the house, you could do whatever you wanted. But on the inside, this one is beautiful. I love that white kitchen. We're coming into springtime when mm -hmm. everybody's kind of getting that the light colors and the spring fever, and this one fits just for that time of year. It does, and it has brand new updates in here. The same cabinets, they've painted them out, really brought them up to date, and then they added granite countertops. The bathroom has been completely uh, renovated, new fixtures, flooring, everything in there, a new metal roof, new heating and cooling. And this one is within five minutes of downtown Pikeville, but looking at the pictures, you wouldn't know it. So you're able to, to purchase something close to if you work in the city, mm -hmm. um, go to school or anything like that. I mean, quick access to do that. But at the end of the day, when, you, when it's time to go home, you can escape. Exactly, exactly. And this one has, it's a little bit confusing. You've got about a thousand square feet on the main floor that has your master bedroom on the first floor. Mm -hmm. You also have the possibility, you have a second bedroom upstairs, possibility of a third, but that second floor is all finished, but it is considered attic space because of the ceiling height. So you could easily do some changes up there, have that be a full-fledged second floor if you wanted to, but you have just under 1,300 square feet total. This is one of those that we talk about time and time again. If you think you like it, you may love it if you go see it. Yeah, yeah. This is one that I highly recommend seeing. This house shows really, really well. All right. Now, to make this one even more attractive, we're going to tell you the price has just <laughs> been reduced to 144000 So. Mm -hmm. Everything we just told you on all that land right outside of Pikeville, I would hope this would be another one that's going to move quickly. Hopefully. Okay. Now, we've given you five listings today, a couple in Johnson County and some in Pike. Um, but as always, you know, if it's not been exactly what you're looking for, feel free. Always go to the website. Absolutely. We invite you to do that. We recommend that you do that. The website is rbnw.com and then from there you can always link to the local association website for every listing in Eastern Kentucky. Which you can show and sell. And okay. we will be glad to do so. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Jennifer. I'm going to step out now and let you do your real estate minute. Thank you. Oftentimes, home buyers wonder why they need a realtor. What are the benefits? Here are a few reasons to call a realtor to assist you in buying a home. First, expertise. Realtors know the real estate language, market, and the process to help you find a home efficiently. Second, searching ability. Yes, the internet is awesome, but do you know the area and the homes well enough to search for the best possible options? Realtors have experience in the neighborhoods and homes that will greatly assist you in your search. Third, negotiating. Not all negotiations revolve around price. A realtor can assist with negotiations based on financing, contingencies that protect your interest, possession, and closing costs. Lastly, a realtor works for you. Realtors are held to a standard of ethics and look out for their clients' best interest. A good realtor will be with you every step of the way, guiding you through the largest decision of your life. Thank you for watching this episode of the Red Brown and Williams Show.